Hi guys, my name is Nancy Loom and I am the Loom Detective. And then this video is a, going to be a remake video of my puppy pencil hugger. So my old video was c really kind of blurry and the background was black and there was like a glare on the loom so it was kind of hard to see and hard to follow along with. So I'm redoing the video and I'm also going to show you how to do the puppy pencil climber. So these are the huggers I'm going to show you how to do. So this one's the climber and as you can see it looks like the full body of a dog Whoops, full body of a dog as you would see it like standing and then this one is the hugger and it's still the full body of a dog but it just sits differently on your pencil so I'm going to show you how to make both of these and DIY mommy came up with the puppy design I just changed it into a hugger so the credit goes to her for this adorable puppy face and the floppy ears and even the tail they all go to her I just changed it into huggers and climbers, or huggers and climbers. And you can really do any color you would like on these. So many different colors you can choose from. Rainbow Loom has, I don't know how many different colors of bands they have out there, but they have tons. So you can just go to rainbowloom.com and order a bunch of different bands or use the bands that you have, which is what I did. And so that's all for this introduction, but I have something else going to do a challenge or a dare to all you guys who are watching this. So listen up closely. I dare you to get a pencil hugger, your favorite pencil hugger, put it on your finger and wear it from morning to night for a whole entire day. Doesn't matter what you're doing that day, you could be going to the mall, hanging out with friends, I don't know, riding your horses, if you have horses. If you have horses, love horses. Sorry, um, just random, randomness right there. And so you're just going to get your favorite hugger and wear it a whole entire day. And then if you're on Instagram, you can post a picture, hashtag it to the Loom Detective PH Dare. So that stands for the Loom Detective Pencil Hugger Dare. So you would just get a pencil hugger, put it on your finger, and wear it the whole entire day. Now for some of these, if you're making going to make a new pencil hugger to wear, then I would make the legs a bit longer or the snake I would make it kind of longer so it doesn't so it wraps around all the way and it doesn't really cut off circulation or anything but this is the bunny pencil hugger and this is the snake one and so you wear one of those for a whole entire day and if you don't have an Instagram and you still do this then comment down below I did this hashtag the loom detective ph dare so I think this is actually kind of be gonna be a cool dare I'm also doing this I'm going to do it I think I have seven different pencil huggers on my channel. I'm going to do it for seven days in a row, or however many pencil huggers I have in a row, and I'll wear it the whole day from morning to night. So the first day I may do puppy pencil hugger. Second day I may do the bunny. Third day ladybug. Fourth day uh, monkey. Fifth day elephant. Stuff like that. And I will do it and post pictures on Instagram and hashtag it to the Limb Detective PH Dare. So remember to do that, and I challenge all of you who are watching this video, you need to do it, okay? I can't wait to see how many people actually will do this. So, I hope you will do it. That was a cheesy ending, really cheesy. Okay, so now let's just show you how to make these really cute puppy huggers and climbers. So first I'm going to show you how to make the Rainbow Puppy Pencil Climber. So this is the one that has the full body and it sits like this on your hook or pencil and it looks like that, except like on it. So for this you will need your Rainbow Loom, Rainbow Loom hook or crochet hook or whatever hook you have. You will need rubber bands, you will need 27 pink, well I'm using pink, in this case I use the chameleon green, you will need 74 white or 74 bands for the main part. You will need two bands for the eyes and one band for the nose. And I think that's it. So grab your supplies and let's get started. Okay, so we're going to start with our loom in the standard position and you're going to just flip it around so that it's facing you like this. Just zoom in a little more so you can see better. And we're going to be making the face. So, 
I'm going to start out with my colored bands. You can take two bands, go from the top pin to the pin on the right. I'm going to take two more bands, still using the colored, from the top middle pin to the left. I'm going to take two bands and go down on both sides two times. So you're going down on this side once, and then one more time if I can get the bands unstuck. Twice on that side. Then you can do the same thing on the other side. I'm going to go down twice using two bands. So I'm using two bands for almost this whole entire project. So just assume that I'm using two bands if I don't specifically say how many bands to use. So just assume it's two, unless I say otherwise. And now we're going to get to this middle stripe and to this part right here. So I'm using white for that. I like using white for that part in case you couldn't tell. So you're going to take three bands, go from the top to the second pin. There. Then you're just going to take two bands and go down two times. Like that. Then you're going to take that same color, which for me is white, and go from this band to this band using this peg to this peg using white and two bands. Do the same thing on this side so it closes off your face. And now we're just going to do the eyes and the snout and just get it done and over with so we can know that that's done. So for the eyes, you're going to take your hook and your eye color. Let's see if that'll focus. There we go. Ah, we'll move that out of the way so you can focus. There we go. So you're going to put it on your hook, wrap it around four times. So you have four loops. Okay? And then you're going to take white. Going to put wrap it around two times on this side. Go over wrap it around two times on that side. So it kind of makes like this little eye. And then you're going to do the same exact thing again. Take your eye color four times. So you have four loops. Then you're going to take white, put it on twice on this side, twice on that side. You can just kind of move it over so all the twists are in the back. You have your two eyes. Now you're going to take the same color that you used for the outside, take one of those bands, put it on the edge of your hook very carefully put the eyes onto them. So now the easiest way that I know without messing up your eyes is to just take all of the bands and pull it on there. Now they still do get a little bit messed up but you can just fiddle with them and pull the stuff all over the place until you have the eye that you like. But it's... you can also do it little by little like just take... say so you're taking off the white first I don't know if I can do it that way. I'm so used to doing it the other way. You can take off the white first, then do the blue or whatever color you're using, black, green, yellow, and then the white again. So that, I guess that is the easier way. I just am used to doing it the other way. Then, you're going to take your loom, put it on the second pins on either side. So this goes right here. Stretch it over on to this one. You're going to want to pull your eyes apart and try to push them as far apart as possible like all the way over here because we have to hook through here and it's better if they're on either side. And you can just like face them whichever way you want them to be because that's how they're going to look when we hook them. And now we are going to do this snout. It's nose. You can see it kind of sticks out a little bit it'll ever focus. And then from the front it looks like that. So you're going to take your color. I'm going to use yellow because my thing is already pink. 
put it on your hook, wrap it around four times, so you have four loops. Then you're going to take two white bands, whatever color you want this to be, where you can see it comes or attaches right out there. You could probably do the same color as the face if you're doing different than white. And then you're going to take some two bands. I'm sorry, my camera is really not focusing today. Okay, so two bands. You're going to twist them around. Pull it. So now you have four loops. And pull this on there. So yeah, it is a little tight. Okay, a lot tight. But you just be careful with it and it'll work out fine. So you have that. Then you're just going to take one band, same color as either the snout or whatever color you're doing for the part that I'm doing white. Pull one band through. Make sure it's not twisted on the inside. When you do that, try to figure out. Because I think I twisted mine accidentally. Okay, yeah, I think it's better. And you can put it from here to here. So one end here, one end here, and you can just move it in the middle and you can fiddle with it later. So that is your face, minus the ears. We'll do the ears a little bit later. And so now onto the hugger body. So you're going to take two bands of the body color, go down from this peg to this peg. And you're going to take two more bands, go from this peg to this peg, and then over to the other side, like that. And then you're going to go down on each side three times using double bands. So one, two, three. Do the same thing on this side, still using double bands. Okay then. Now you're going to get the same color you're using and you're going to just fill in to there. With two bands. You can even do like like a colored stripe down the back. That would be kind of cool actually. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna try that. So I didn't include that in the color in the number of bands you'll need for the pink, but I just wanna try out doing a stripe down the back. Just make sure it's not a yellow stripe. <laughs> um so you'll go down four times. Then you're going to take your white, go from here to here, to close it off, from here to here, close it off. Then we're going to put the connecting bands in. So just whatever color you're doing for this. I'm going to use white even though there's a pink stripe in the middle. I just think that'll work better. So you're going to go, you see this first pen, you're going to go down one, we're going to do triangle on these three pins. You can go down once more, do another triangle, and then one more time, another triangle. So you have three triangles right there. And now we're going to do the legs. So whatever color you're doing the legs, you could do them different color. I'm just going to stick with my main body color. Take two bands down from this peg and go all the way down to here. So that is five times down, just in case you're you have a different size loom or something. It's just five down. You're gonna do it on both sides. Double bands. These are gonna be the arms and legs of our puppy. 
I think I already said that though. <laughs> and one more. Then you're going to take your cap band, wrap it around three times. So you put it there, pull it back twice, three times. I guess technically you're wrapping around twice, but you want three loops. Whatever you do, you want three loops. So one, two, three. So you got that. And now we're going to hook up our legs so we can make our ear down here. So you just take your hook, pull back the cap band, grab the bands, move up, grab the bands, move up, grab the bands, move up, I only got one band on that one, grab the bands, move up, grab the bands, move up. So then, you're going to go down here, pull this all the way up here. You want to make sure that stays on there. And you can just let it go right there. And we're going to hook up this side. So we're just trying to cap band, grab your bands, hook it up, grab your bands, hook it up, grab your bands, hook it up. Oops, I think I grabbed part of the other bands. Then I got my two, hook it up, hook it up, and again with this one, you're going to pull up to there. So with this, one leg is going to be through to here, and one leg is going to be from here to here. And they each have a cap band, and you can have the cap bands be on one side, like see, you can see the cap band right here. It's also right here. You can have them on the same side, or you could have one on this side and one on this side. I don't know if it bother you or not. You don't really tell, but you can tell a little bit. And I normally just do them on the same side, but I'm just going to do them on opposite sides just to show you. So I have this one right here. So I'm going to take this, pick up those bands. You should have four loops, and I'm going to put it right here. So, if you don't really care what side the cap band's on, you can put it on this side. It really does not matter. And then you're going to place the bands on the pin. You're going to go around here and put the cap band on that side. And on this one, put the cap band on this side. So after we start looping we will have to move this back but we're gonna put our tail right there so I'm just leaving that up there for now. And so now now is as good as time as I need to make the tail. So for this you can either use your loom or you don't have to use your loom. So I'm just gonna show you without the loom. So you will need however many colors you're gonna use I only use, I think, five bands. I have a color for the tip, and then I use three of the ear color, and then I use one to blend in with the body. So I'm going to take one white, wrapped around three times. Then I'm going to take my pink, I'm going to double cap it, which is a little hard with these limited edition bands, but still doable. You're going to pull that band onto it, put that back on, center it. Then you're going to take another band, cap it, oops, cap it, pull it through that band, and up right here. Then you're going to take another band. Still using the pink color. Cap it. Pull it through. And the other end. 
And now I'm going to take the same color as the body so it'll blend in. But since I did a stripe down the middle, I think the one that'll blend in is the pink. So I'm just going to do one more pink, cap it, and pull it through. Now you can make your tail longer if you don't like this size, but I think this is a good size for the puppy. So, and then you're going to go all the way up to here. You're going to place that band right on that peg. Sorry, that clicking is my watch hitting the tripod. It does that a lot. Um, so then you just, it's a little tricky because it's double capped. Put it right there. And then you're going to put the other side right there too. It's harder with these limited edition bands or the special bands because they're kind of like sticky. The regular bands are easier. So there you have your tail. Then you're going to get the ear ready. Oh, I wrapped this three times around. You're actually supposed to wrap it down four times. Sorry, I didn't realize I forgot about that. So if you already made it, you can just pull off the tail and just wrap it around four times on the first one, or you can leave it if it doesn't really matter to you. I'm just going to leave it for now. And then, now we're going to do the ear. So we're going to make the ear on these pegs down here. So you're going to take the color for the ear, take one band, put it down here to here, and then go down two more times. And go on the other side and do the same thing. There. There. One more. And now, if you see on this one, there's like a white in the middle. And it like, it's supposed to like tie the two colors in together. But it's barely noticeable. And I normally have like the ears curled. Then you only see it in the back. So I tried doing it without it, and I think it's fine without it. So I'm not going to do the same color. I'm not, I mean, I'm not going to do a different color. But if you like that little pop of color, that's fine. So you're going to take whatever band, if you want it the same color or that pop of color, you're going to go from here to here. Now you're going to take your cap bands. Use the same color as the colors you're using. Put one on here. Then you're going to double cap one, put it on another triangle right below that. Let's see if this will stretch over. There we go. And then you're going to take a band, put one there, double cap another, and go from this bottom peg to this peg. So that is the setup of your ear. Now we're going to hook it. So you just go in on either side, pull back this, grab that band, pull it up, pull back the connecting band, grab the bottom band, pull it up. Do the same thing, you just pull it all the way up and you're going to leave it there. And you go on this side, behind that band, pull it up behind the connecting band. Pull it up, and see if you can get the point. And now, so you have the two sides done. You can go into this band, pull it up, right up there. Okay, and so now, I'm going to take your hook, put it in this. I'll hold it up so you can see better. Pull it off. And then go over to this side, pull it off, and then go over up here. And you're going to pull off your ear. And so it, it looks a little messy when you first pull it off, but it does get better as you put it on and stuff. So there's your little ear. You're going to go all the way up to this peg, 
in this peg and put your ear down. So these are tricky to put down because there's so many bands, as you can see. They're kind of twisted up and stuff. So just do it a few bands at a time and put it on those two pegs. There. Then I have those last three ones. Then you pull this over so the ear is on the top or on the side, something like that, where you want it. And then you can just stretch it out and have it like that. Mine got a little twisted up, but it's after you stretch it out a little bit, it gets better. Okay, I'm sorry, I could fiddle with that all day long. I'm kind of like picky with that kind of stuff. Okay, and then you're gonna make the other ear. Instead of having you have to rewind the video back to our show to, work, to make the ear, I'm just gonna show you how to make it again. So again, you take bands right here, and go down three times, and you can go on the other side three times. It's probably best if they're not um, twisted, but I don't know that it makes that much difference. Take your peekaboo color or your just regular color. Then you're going to take connecting band, go on this triangle, double cap this connecting band, go on this triangle if I can get it. there. Regular band from here to here. Double cap band from here to there. Okay, now you can get your hook and hook it up. Let's get your screech behind this. Go up the line. Go to the other side. There, there, and up there. You can go in the middle, pull that one up. Okay, sorry. Something just fell back there and that scared me. Okay, so then you're going to take your hook, go in here, pull it up, go over to this side. Pull it up, go to the middle, pull it up, pull this off, right there, and yes, it looks a little wonky, but just fiddle with it later, or I'll fiddle it with it later. You can always just pause it and fiddle. And then I'm going to place these bands on this one. I must say, it is harder to do this with these pearl bands. I still think they're pearl bands. Pearl bands, limited edition bands, like the sticky ones. The double layered ones. They're a little hard because they don't stretch very good. And then they're harder to make stuff like this with. They're very pretty. <laughs> so, I guess it's worth all the work. So again, just turn it around. Fiddle with your ears, or your puppy's ears anyway. And now we're going to hook the body. So you're going to start down here. You're going to take this right here. You're going to pull it back. Just put it around this hook so it's out of the way. This pin so it's out of the way. Then you're going to go reach behind the tail. Get the top two bands. Pull it up over to whichever side they're on. Reach back, top, two bands. And then pull it out to the other side. Then bottom two bands, pull it there. So now you can just like put this back and go right there so it doesn't stretch out. Then we're going to stitch, stitch. Um, hook up the sides. 
So you're going to reach behind all those bands, grab the bottom two, sometimes a little tricky. You can always turn your loom on the side and see which ones are on the bottom. That always helps making it easier. Go behind the connecting band, hook up, you're going to hook up one more time. And I'm going to go to this other side, reach behind, bottom two bands, pull up to bands, pull up, reach behind the connecting band, and pull those bands up. And now I'm going to go in the middle, and yes, pull up. <laughs> and when we get to here, I'm just going to pick this up, move it up there. Hook this, pick this up. Pull it down here so it's out of the way. Pick this up, pull it up. Then you can pick this up and let it go down there again. And reach behind all those bands, grab the bottom two, go in to the middle. Again on this side, bottom two bands into the middle. And now the bottom, bottom bands out of all those bands. Grab those neck bands. Let's see if I can get this off. Right here, there we go. Pull it up. Now we're gonna hook the face. So you're gonna take the top bands this time. Top two bands. Or you could do it one band at a time. Like, let's see if I can get the bands. Do one band at a time, two at a time, whatever is most comfortable for you. Then to the middle ones, you're going to put your finger and put it around the little nose or snout, whatever you want to call it, and just pull it up a little. So it sticks out a little bit, just like dogs' noses do. Then you're going to loop up the middle. Oh, actually the sides. We're going to do the sides first and then the middle. So the middle comes out on the top, so it becomes like a whole line in the middle instead of having the colors like come in. Like I've tried it with the colors going on top and it doesn't look very good. So just trust me what I'm saying and just do the outsides first. So we're going to go bottom bands, grab them up, loop them behind the connecting band, up, loop them behind all those ear bands. Right underneath them are those two bands. So I'm going to reach in. Sometimes helps if you hold your fingernail down on them. And then you go there, grab them, and carefully wiggle them till they're long enough to reach the middle. Do the same thing on this side. Bottom two bands. Bottom two, oh, band. And again, I'm just gonna look through the side because they're a little bit hard to get. Sometimes if you just go like this to the bands and pull them over, then you can really see them better. Okay, there we go. So I'm going to switch back to my right hand. I'm not very good at using my left hand for this kind of stuff. So then go all the way over. Place it on that pin. Now we're going to loop the rest of the metal. So go right in front of the snout. Pull up. Then you can separate your eyes if they came in the middle. Pull up those three bands up to the top, and your dog is all looped up. So for those of you who have trouble and you pull things and they all fall apart, you might want to just look on the sides and make sure that all of your bands are looped up. You can check and see if they're all looped up, and if they're not, then you can just 
start from the top, unloop down to that point, and reloop. And now we're gonna get one band or two bands for the top. I'm gonna use two just because these limited edition ones are pretty sticky and they're thick and I may need two just in case one breaks. I think that fell down from there. So put your hook in, stretch back, peek it out there, pull those two bands through and around. Put it on your hook and you're gonna do slip knot right through there. You have that, then you can take your dog off the loom. So when there's a lot of bands, I normally like to use my hook, but it's really just personal preference. You can just yank it off if you want. Like see these ones, these pins have the lot of bands. I normally just use my hook for. Okay. So this is how mine looks coming off the loom. Now it doesn't look very cute. <laughs> compared to this one. You know, it just looks kind of, I don't know, almost looks like, like a like a rooster or a chicken there, you know? Okay, um, besides that, that's beside the point. So you're going to pull out the arms, because they, kind of, they get kind of wedged in there. Then you can fix your eyes. I like to push mine so the white is not so noticeable on them. Sometimes they need to be pulled out. Same with the nose, just pull it out, stretch it a bit. You can fix the little white things there if you don't like it. You can stretch out the head, fix the ears so they look exactly the way you want them. See those little white things? The white, it's from my eyes, so you can just go in the back and pull it towards the back so you don't see it as much like that and then you can just stretch out the body a little bit I actually like that stripe down the back I think it looks pretty cool and then your tail so your tail right now looks like this kind of flat thing And if you don't want it like that the way to fix it is you go into the loops right in between it side and you pull towards the top see the top of my dog I just called it a bunny the top of my dog's right there so I'm gonna pull outwards and it turns it towards there then you go up one loop do the same thing pull outwards or you pull this to the front go up another loop pull outwards it helps if you do both actually pull outwards and pull the loop to the front and eventually you'll get it the way you want it to look like I don't have time to really fix it right now you see the three right here it looks kind of loose and this one looks nice and tight so that is why I would use four times doing it and so there you have your very own puppy pencil climber I normally just call them all huggers but in this case because that one was a hugger and this one it's technically a climber. So there you have your pencil climber. Please like, subscribe, and if you want to know how to make a pencil hugger, just keep watching this video. So now I'm going to show you how to make the Rainbow Loom Puppy Pencil Hugger. So to make this, you will need Rainbow Loom, your Rainbow Loom hook or a crochet hook, and rubber bands. You will need 27 of your color right here which I'm using this tie-dye jelly. It's blue and orange. I'm using that for this blue part right here, so you need 27 bands for that. You will need 64 white bands, or whatever color you're using for this. I'm gonna use blue, see how that works out. And then you will need 
two bands for the eyes, I'm using navy blue, and one band for the nose, I'm using chameleon orange. So grab your supplies and let's get started. So you're going to start with your loom in the standard configuration. You're going to turn it around so it is facing towards you. And now we're going to start placing the bands for the head of the hugger. We're going to start by placing our colored bands, which I am using, again, like I said before, the rainbow jelly tie-dye or something like that. So you're going to take two bands from the top pin, the pin on the right. Then you're going to take two more bands, go from the top pin to the pin on the left. Then you're going to go down two times. Still using double bands. And unless I say to use a different amount of than double bands, the whole thing is just going to be double bands. There's a few spots where you use different amounts, but if I don't say a specific number of bands, then it's just two. Okay. So I have my bands there. Now you're going to get your other color, the one you're using for the middle. You're going to take three bands, go from this pin to this pin. Right here. Then you're going to go down two more times using double bands. Now you're going to take, you're still going to use the same color, so you're going to use the blue, and you're going to go from here to here, and then from here to here. Two bands. Now, you're going to go down with the same color, we're going to go down to there. Now we're going to place the bands for the body. So this back part and this part right here. So if you want a different color, go ahead and change it. It really doesn't matter. It's just personal preference. So you're going to take, so using double bands from here to here. And then go on the other side. You're going to go down two times on each side. Then you are going to go down from the middle and go down so three it'll be three times well I'm sorry actually it's two times I haven't made this in a while so I got one mixed up there oh I probably shouldn't have picked blue just noticed it's a little hard to see so I don't know if that helps or anything then you're going to go up and then on the same side, do that. Oops. Then you're going to do the arms and you're going to go down five times using double bands, whatever color you want your arms. do the same thing on the other side. Okay. 
Now we're going to put cap bands on there. And you're going to take a band, put it on the edge, wrap it around three times. So that's once, twice, three times. So you have three loops there. Same the other side. There. And now we're going to loop up the legs. So we're going to pull back that cap band. Grab those bottom two bands. Move them up. Go in here. Move them up. You're going to loop all five sets up. Okay. And now you just take your hook in here, pull up to that one, and then you can just go ahead, put it on the shoulder pin. Then we're going to go back, loop this one. Oops. If your cap band comes up, it's fine. You don't have to put it back on if you already have your bands out, but I just put it on. It's a little easier to get it again if you put it on. So loop up. To here. Oops. You may want to put your hand up here while you pull this out so it's a little bit easier. So you grab your cap band, pull up, go, and then you're going to put it on this peg. that on the outside. And so now we're going to put connecting bands on our puppy hugger. So take whatever band you're using for this color. You're going to put one band right there. And then you're going to take whatever color you're using for this outside, the ear color, and get one of those ready. Get your two eye colors. Oh, and you will also need two white bands. Because if you look on each side of the eye, there's little white bands right there. So you'll need two white bands too. I'll try to type that in on the, oh, what do you call it? The place where you, where I tell you what you need. I'll try to make sure, remember to do that. If I can figure out how to do that. Okay, so now let's make the eyes. So you're going to take your eye color, put it on here. Wrap it around four times, so you have four loops. You take your white band, put it on your hook, wrap it twice on this side, twice on this side. Push it back, grab your other eye color, wrap it around four times, so you have four loops. Get your white band, twice on this far side, and then twice up here. So I have your two eyes, and you're going to take your ear color, and you're going to put your eyes onto it. So you can pick up the whole eye and do it, or you could do it like by piece by piece, like do the whites, then the blues, then the whites again. Either way works fine, so you might want to separate your eyes a little so it's easier to do it when you get on there. Place it from the second to the top pin. And then you will want to separate these so they're on either side of the middle line. And now we are going to make the little snout. So you will need bands for whatever color you want this to be. You can see where it there we go. You see where it kind of sticks out? is that part so I normally just did it to match this part like the stripes in the face but you don't have to do that you can make it a white snout if you're using a different color which I'm gonna try that I'm gonna do white with a little orange nose on it so you will need two bands of those one band of your stripe color that's in the middle 
And then you'll also need the color you're using for the nose. So you're going to take the color you're using for the nose, I'm using this chameleon orange, which is really cool. It changes colors, as you can see. You can wrap it around four times. Then you're going to take two whites. You're going to double them. There's a few different ways you can do this, but it's just one way to do it. There we go, now that's focusing. And you're gonna pull this band onto those bands. So it can get a little tricky, you just make sure you hold on to all those bands. Put it back on here. Then you're gonna take that other band and pull it through. So you have that. Now you're gonna put on your loom on the third pin down from each side. One there one there. Now my nose looks green. Okay, well once it gets colder again it'll match the thing. So now we're gonna make the ears. So you're gonna get whatever color you're using for the ears. I'm using that color. Just put some bands there so I can reach them easier. And you're gonna take the band, go down, three times. Just like that. Just place three bands there. Go on the other side, do the same exact thing. Place three bands. And then you're going to put a band here, which as you see on this one is kind of the different color that kind of matches that. But I like to keep the puppy's ears curled anyway, so the only part you see is in the back. So I'm just going to use the same color as my ears but you can use a different color and then you're going to put one band right there so that is your kind of pop of color then you're going to take your connecting bands put one on this triangle take another one you're going to cap it put it on the next triangle then you're going to take a band from here oops, that just catapulted right across the room right here and put it Cross. I'm sorry, I didn't know you couldn't see that. There we go. And then you're going to take another one, cap it, put it right there. So that is your ear. You can see it. There, that's a little easier to see so you don't have the bases in the background. And now we're going to hook that ear. So you're going to reach behind here, grab a band on either side, doesn't matter which side. You're going to reach behind all the connecting bands and move them up to there. Same thing on this side. Move it up. Up and then you're going to go into this middle one. Pull it up. Right there. You put your hook in here. Grab those bands. Make sure that stays up there. Mm. A little hard to hold sometimes. Go, pick these up, then you go and pick that up, pull the ear off your loom. So that is the little ear. It doesn't really look like much now, but once you put it on the loom and have it with all the other bands, it looks really nice. And so now you're going to put your ears on these two pegs. So, just do a few bands at a time. Try to keep them in the same order. It can be a little tricky trying to get it all on. But it kind of need them all on. Okay, yeah. Having a little bit of trouble trying to get these on. Normally I don't, just when I'm recording a video I have trouble with this kind of stuff. Ironic, right? Okay, yeah, so that's not supposed to happen. You're supposed to get all your bands up there and that's how you make the ear. So now I'm going to show you, you can put all your bands on there. 
Then I'm going to show you how to make the other ear. It's the same exact thing, so you can just keep watching this video and you don't have to go rewind. And then I'll pause it and I'll go make my other ear. So, again, go down three times. Three times on this side. Your pop of color right there. Take a band. Go here. Double cap a band on this triangle. One band go here. Cap a band from here to there. Now we're going to hook, hook up the sides, right there, hook up this side, hook up the middle, grab these bands. Pull it up over here, pull it up, middle, pull it up. And then you can just stretch your ear out a little bit. Then you can put it on the other side. Just pretend there's an ear right there. And you're gonna put all the bands onto that. And that's how it's supposed to be done. Okay, so then you'll have this ear and your other ear. And I'll be right back. I'm just going to make another ear and stick it on. Okay, so I got my other ear on. So your loom should look like this so far. And now we're just going to make the tail. And then we will start looping. So this is what the tail looks like. Except in my old video, I showed you how to do it and I just attach the tail at the end but I found a better way to do it so the tail doesn't look like that and doesn't pull on this band but the tail is still gonna look kinda like that so we're gonna use five bands I like to use a different color up at the top I use the ear color in the middle and then the body color to blend in when you use it so you're gonna get your hook or I guess you could do it on your loom you're gonna take the color, the ear color, tip color, and the body color. So you're going to start. Sorry, my camera's not focusing. There we go. I'm going to start with the tip color. Wrap it around four times. You have to make sure it's four times because that will keep it nice and tight. Take your ear color, double cap it, put it on your hook. Pull it off like that. Another ear color band. Put it on there. Pull it through. One more. Double cap it. You can also double cap it by wrapping it around twice and then pulling it. I just find it easier the other way. But that is a what different way. One more. Double cap it. Pull it through. And that was the body color. So, it's like that. I'm going to place it on this middle pin right here. Normally, I would use it as a cap band. But with this pattern, we're not using it as a cap band. We're just attaching it to the body. So you don't have to attach it later. So you're going to go... On either side, just pick a side, and go behind these leg bands. You're not going to get these ones, these bottom bands, you're going to get these ones right here, the ones that attach to the middle. So go behind those bands, grab those two bands, pick them up, put them into the middle. Same thing on this side. Put them in the middle. And now you're going to go all the way to the bottom 
I don't know if you can really see. There we go. The bottom bands right there. I think those are it. Yep. I'm gonna pull it off. Now this will be tight, so just gently move it back and forth till you can reach up there. And now you're going to pull this back here. Loop it up. Loop it up. Bottom bands. Loop in towards the middle. Actually, I don't know. I'm kind of picky about this stuff. I normally like to loop the middle row first and then the other two outside rows. It really does not matter. It's just personal preference. It'll just come out a little different. So, you can do it in whatever you can do this 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 or this 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 but I just like having this on the bottom so you see the other two ones on top yeah it probably sounds weird but oh well um, so you just loop that up you reach behind the connecting bands and the arm bands loop it in towards the middle all the way down to the bottom two bottom bands Move it back and forth up a little so you can get it up there. Top two bands. Oh, sorry. I realize you couldn't see it. It's probably better if I keep it down there. Then the next top two bands. There we go. And then the last two bands. And you're just going to open it with your fingers and put it over that. And you can pull this out with your hook, you can do it with your fingers, you can do it later, but you want to try to get this snout out of there eventually. And then you go up on a side, and now on this time, on the head, I'm looping the middle last, so you get that continuing stripe all the way to the top. If, if it wasn't like that, you'd have like blue, a little bit of blue hanging over on the sides and stuff. I just think it looks better if you do the middle last. So I'm going to loop the two sides, go to the bottom, two bands, put them up, behind the connecting band, pull them up, and I think I got three on that one. Um, I think I did. If that happens, you can just put it back on the peg, put your hook in there, kind of just twirl it around so the bands get back in their position, and then do it again. There we go. Pull it up. This one's a little tricky because there's so many bands on there because of the ear. But you want to grab these two bottom bands right here. Right there. There we go. Pull it up. Wiggle, wiggle. Into the middle. Same thing this side. Pull back. Grab the bottom two bands. There we go. On the connecting band and up and then down and get the bottom two bands. Ah. Yeah, these are a little tricky. You just gotta really be careful unless you want your bands to snap. Now you can go in the middle, go right here behind that, two bands, up, and then you can pull your eyes apart three bands right there, pull it up, and then get however many bands you're using for the, I don't know what you call it, the slip knot, right there. See, I think two works better, it's more secure and stuff, so I'm just going to use two. You can use one, or whatever you would like. Put your hook in the pin, pull back reach out, put the two bands on there, pull it in, around, and up there. You take those two bands, pull them in, pull tight, and now you can take it off your loom. So I would suggest using a hook for the parts that have many bands on them. But if you don't want to, that's fine. It doesn't really matter to me. But I think it's easier if you use a hook 
the parts have lots of bands on them. Even on the parts that don't have lots of bands, I just like using the hook better. Except when it gets caught in bands, like that. Then, not so much. <laughs> so, as you can see, when I pull this off, it does not look very good, does it? Looks kind of like a, I don't know. But you're just gonna stretch this out. Right here you can fix your eyes. Right there. You can tug at your ears, whatever, curl them the way you like. Keep them stuck up, whatever you want. <laughs> Pull these out to the sides. So just Pull it like that. And then your tail, so your tail is a little like flat. So you're going to want to put your hook down here. You could even go on this one. And you're going to pull this over to the right while pulling this to the left. Or whichever way you want your tail to go. Because I'm pulling the bands and then moving these bands where I want them to go. So I want them to curl back. Sometimes it takes a little while to do, so just be patient with it and fiddle around as much as you would like. Okay, and then Again, you just pull these front things and then you slide your pencil or hook, which I don't even know if I've ever put these on a pencil. I've always done it on a hook. And yes, those blues do not look good together, but it does not matter since this probably will not be what I keep it on anyway. And so there you have your bunny, not bunny, I'm sorry. There you have your puppy pencil hugger. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and follow me on Instagram. And if you've made these, please snap a picture and hashtag it to the Loom Detective. I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.